Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to talk about the Summerlin 2980. It's a very nice four bunk unit, has a big slide, really nice and open. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the outside features. First off, right up front, you are going to get a power tongue jack, nice and easy to operate. You're going to have a light here underneath, just a flip of a switch, and you can go ahead and operate that. You'll also have a light, which is going to help aid in connecting and disconnecting at night. Right behind that, you're going to have your propane cover, 30 pound propane cover. Inside, you'll see you have two 30 pound propane tanks. That way, in case you do uh, any kind of boondocking, you're going to have uh, plenty of heat and propane to cook. As we come back a little ways, you can take a look in here, you get a nice large pass-through storage, nice wide door on here, so if you have a wider grill or uh, some bigger chairs, nice and easy to go ahead and put in there. Of course, you'll have four jacks, one on each corner, those will be your scissor jacks. Nice big power awning, as you can see, and that's uh, just going to be a touch of a button. Hit a button, it rolls out, touch a button, rolls back in, that way, of course, it's going to provide shade and protection from the rain, and if you do see a storm coming, it's super easy one person operation just roll it right in underneath that you're gonna have marine grade outside speakers you don't have to worry about them getting wet those are gonna be controlled by your multimedia center inside however it does have Bluetooth capability so if you have uh, like an iPad or iPod or other cellular device maybe you have Pandora some kind of music program you can connect to that wirelessly and be able to go ahead and listen to music Getting into the coach is an absolute breeze as you're going to get three steps here and as you can see the first one's nice and low. So if you do have bad knees, not a problem, it's uh, not going to be hard for you to go ahead and get into the coach. As we come back a little ways, you take a look at our axles, we're going to have spread axles. That's going to help uh, prevent sway and give you better towability going down the road. It's also going to have the correct track alignment system on there. And so it's been shown that over time your trailer axles will become misaligned. This makes it nice and simple to go ahead and line those back up so you won't get uneven tire wear. Right here is going to be your utility shower. That's going to have uh, both hot and cold access. The thing I like about the utility shower on the 2980 is it's going to be on your door side. Oftentimes it's going to be on the back of the trailer or the off door side where it's not very convenient to get to. This makes it nice and easy whether you're washing off your feet before you enter, washing some sand off from the beach, or maybe you're setting up uh, an outside cook station and you want some uh, access to water. Nice and easy to go for that right there. Last but not least here, as we come around to the back, one of the things I love, if you didn't have enough storage up front, take a look at that. Huge storage here in the back that is pass-through. You have storage going both ways, just massive storage area for everything you want to bring along with you. As we come around to the back, you do have a hollow bumper here, which is where your sewer tube is going to go, and then you also have a spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you're going to be covered. All right, folks, why don't we go ahead and take a look inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Summerlin 2980. Let's go ahead and start off right, right over here as you walk into the door. You'll notice you have nice large storage compartment right here, as well as two uh, excellent deep drawers right there. Up top, we're going to have plenty of countertop space, nice large single bowl sink right here. The thing I like about single bowl sinks is if you do have big pots with long handles, you can set them down in here flat, make it nice and easy to wash, you're not going to have to be up on angles. You're also going to have your three burner stove top. It is going to be Atwood, so you will get better flame control than a lot of its competitors. Right here is going to be a pull out drawer. You have some storage here as well as right here. And then open up the door and you have some additional storage. Great place for a trash can right there. Below our uh, three burner stove top, of course, is going to be our oven. So if you do want to bake anything, you can certainly do so. And as we move up top, you can see here you have some great pantry space. Next to that is going to be our stainless steel microwave. Uh, you have a fully functional hood right here with a light and a fan. On the wall here we're going to have elect an uh, additional electrical outlet in case you want to plug in coffee maker or blender, toaster, something like that. You have water heater control here as well as your tank monitoring system. Rounding out the kitchen right here is going to be our Dometic fridge freezer combo. Plenty of space, you have two uh, extra pull out drawers right here and this is going to be automatic switch over. What that means if it's running off LP as soon as you plug it into shore power it is automatically going to switch over for you. As we make our way back, 
Your thermostats can be right outside the bathroom. As we go into the bathroom here, you'll see we have plenty of countertop space there, which is great. Nice cutout, which is perfect for all of our towels. You're also gonna have a medicine cabinet with storage behind that. You'll have your tub shower with shelving, a nice high threshold on that tub, a hand a wand in order to make it nice and easy to wash, and of course a vented skylight. Last but not least, in the corner here, you're gonna have your stool with a uh, foot flush. As we make our way into the back, you can take a look at the bunk room. This is where we're gonna have our quad bunks. So you're gonna have great storage space right there, excellent wardrobe. Like I mentioned, quad bunks. You're gonna have windows on the top, you'll have lights on all four, and you'll have uh, some additional space on top of the wardrobe where you can put a TV. As we make our way back out into the main living area, this is going to be our slide. This will be a super slide. So you can see here you have a very large u dinette, which is exactly what you're going to want when you have quad bunks. You're probably going to be taking a lot of kids, grandkids with you. You want plenty of seating so you, everyone can sit around and enjoy a meal together. The u dinette is going to allow you to do exactly that. Also right here you do have an electrical plug-in, so if you do want to charge any devices you can certainly do so. And underneath you have nice easy access to storage on both sides, that way you don't have to mess with taking all the cushions off to access that storage. Also this table does drop down into a very large bed, so if you do have additional adult guests that want to stay with you, you can drop that down and this makes a very large bed which can uh, sleep two uh, very tall adults. Right here is going to be our sofa, nice and comfortable sofa. This will be a jackknife sofa. The nice advantage of jackknife, if you look underneath, you get a ton of extra storage there. Nice and easy to access too. So this is a great place to put all of your uh, extra bedding or anything else you wanna put down there. You also have storage up top here, as you can see. Some uh, great storage there. And of course, windows all around here letting in a ton of sunlight. Right behind me is going to be our entertainment center. So you get uh, some storage up top here, which is nice. You're gonna have your cutout for your LCD TV. You can go ahead and put your mounting bracket right there. You can get a swing arm bracket, which is nice. That way you can go ahead and swing that around. So if you wanna watch it in the kitchen, you can do that, or from the dinette or the couch. Right here is gonna be our multimedia center. Uh, like I mentioned, that is Bluetooth capable, and that will control the speakers inside as well as outside. And then underneath, we're going to have some additional storage. All right, let's come take a look at the bedroom. In the bedroom of the Summerlin 2980, we're gonna have our queen bed. We can go ahead and lift that up. You'll see we have plenty of storage underneath. And we're gonna have storage all the way around. On both sides, we're gonna have wardrobe with excellent hanging space, as well as additional storage up top. Beneath the wardrobes, we also have very large shelves, and you'll also have an electrical outlet on both sides, which is gonna be perfect for charging a cellular device, or if you have a CPAP machine, you can choose either side of the bed. All right, folks, thanks for joining me again. This is a 2016 Summerlin's 2980. Fantastic floor plan. You have a quad bunk. You have a ton of outside storage. You get the huge u dinette the whole family can sit around. Definitely going to be a great, a great floor plan for a family. If you do have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer them as well. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.